Hey y'all, welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda, and today we are back from my brother's house. It was a lovely time. Before we left, we knew it was gonna freeze while we were gone. And um, a freeze here is not usually too hard, and it's usually not for very long. It lasted one night, so now it's not freezing weather anymore but it was enough to kill the last of my tomato vines. I had been getting tomatoes in until two days ago. We knew it was coming, we knew we weren't gonna be here, and so we picked everything, green, green, red, and otherwise. And so now my vines are all gone, so the tomatoes are finally gone. I know, it's really late, so I'm grateful to have had them for so long this year. But we did cover the beans, and those look fine. So these are our tomato vines, they are done. Our marigolds are mostly done too, they look pretty wilty and pitiful but they had a good run I was very very pleased with these guys this is where the beans the green beans black beans pinto beans and the greens are all of this was covered and we're gonna peek and see how they're doing oh our peppers are gone too we had a good run the mining okra is done too I'm gonna let some of that dry out. Our greens here are actually looking all right. These are from the radish tops. These are the radish tops. Those look all right. The beets, these beets weren't for eating, these were for seed. And then my carrots look fine. So that's great. And then this guy is a celery. It's like the bottom of a celery that I just planted in the dirt. This will spring up and we'll have celery all winter long. Our salad greens look good, so that's great. Those look fine. I was surprised they made it. Our basil, of course, is gone. Of our herbs, much of the green onion still looks fine, and the parsley is good. The sage is good. The thyme. Yeah, everything's cool over here, and we had one lonely little lettuce that popped up over here. He's doing all right. Yeah, we might can eat him later this week. Our peas definitely got hit. But we still have some flowers that look all right, so it may spring back, I'm not sure. And then most of this Swiss chard looks pretty wilty, but it's some of it's still pretty crisp. You hear that? So that might be all right. Oh man. No, those are my pintos. They're gone. Okay, these are my black beans. I may be able to salvage these. These look like they may be okay. I mean, the leaves are dead, so I'm going to have to harvest these in a hurry. Let's see. They smell like black beans. They don't smell rancid. And that is a beautiful color. Look at that purple. That is lovely. So we may be able to salvage these black beans, um, but that may be everything. That like that may be all. I'll have to check on the beans again in the morning and salvage them then. The sun is setting quickly and I have a surprise for you guys. We have chickens. We have chickens, y'all. We have chickens. We have a mama here. And then there are four babies. One we think is a rooster. And I'm so excited. Y'all, I'm so excited to report that we have chickens. These guys have been here for a few days and we have not recorded anything of them. I just wanted them to settle in and we have been trying to put up everything, the last of what was in the garden. So I really just didn't have time to shoot anything. And I didn't want to just like say we got the chickens until I could show them to you. So the chickens are here. They lasted through the freeze without us. A friend of mine came over and checked on them um, morning and night to make sure and once in the afternoon. And we were gone a day and two half days. So they, they're they fine. They're looking good. I'm so excited, y'all. We got chickens, y'all. I got chickens. I got chickens. I have chickens. I can't believe it myself. I know. It's awesome. I cannot wait until these guys start cranking out some eggs. Or gals. I'm sorry. 
All right, y'all, I'm about to give them some fresh water and we're gonna call it a day pretty soon. I have an Aldi haul to record. We went to Aldi while we were visiting my brother because there's one in Springfield and there is nothing anywhere remotely close to those prices here. And so it was just really great to go there and stock up on a few things for this winter. And I will show you guys that in the next video and I will catch you then. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, I appreciate you, bye.